Jupiter has 95 moons. Yes, you heard me right, 95. It's like the cosmic version of a group chat with way too many members, and nobody knows who half of them are. But the real question is, can you survive on any of them? Today, we're going moon hopping, looking for signs of habitability. Spoiler, most of these moons are death traps, but some, some just might have potential. First things first, why don't we just set up shop on any old moon out there? Simple. I mean, most of them are tiny, irregular, potato-shaped ice cubes or rocks. No atmosphere, no protection from radiation, and if you trip, your body might just float off into space at a casual jogging pace. Also, some of them orbit so close to Jupiter's deadly magnetic field, they get hit with enough radiation to deep fry a spacecraft and definitely your body. But not all hope is lost. Say hello to the Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. These four are big, bold, and scientifically juicy. Let's check out each one and see if we can call them home, or see if we can at least not die immediately. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free, and you can change your mind at any point in time, and it really helps me out as well.